So what am I showing you? Hey everybody, welcome to another video review. For those of you who follow this type of thing, you'll see that this is actually a print of a movie poster for the movie Logan. This is obviously Wolverine's hand, and that's a child's hand holding uh, Wolverine's right hand, and that child is uh, X-23. Uh, it was one of the um, best movies I saw when it came out that year. Very emotional. Um, it was an amazing film. I really, really loved it. Uh, and this print came with Queen Studios' one-to-one -one arm of Hugh Jackman as Logan. Uh, it is an amazing piece. I'm going to start the turntable. Sorry for the sound. So it automatically uh, moves. I'm going to back up a little bit. Again, uh, the problem with some of these pieces is that they're a little bit too big. And so in order to get the whole effect, you have to really back up to just sort of show how tall this piece is. This is again made by Queen Studios. This is the same studio that made the uh, one-to-one -one life-size Logan bust. And this is a companion piece for that bust. Um, there are some issues, by the way, getting this thing through customs in a lot of countries. Uh, not the United States, thankfully, but in certain areas, you know, these are metal cloth. I don't know whether they're made out of. Are they stainless steel or aluminum or something? But uh, you can imagine, you know, there are certain countries where uh, this could be a, a bit of a problem. Uh, and this was made to be a companion piece for the Logan bust. Uh, most people who bought this arm also owned the life-size bust itself. There's very few people who would invest the, mon the money and the time and energy to get this um, if they didn't own the bust. So certainly I am one of them. I'm gonna put this thing up here so you can have an example of how this thing is. Uh, you can see it's remarkably accurate. So the entire arm is um, a platinum level silicon. So it actually feels like real flesh and real skin uh, if you were to touch it. And they just, of course, you know, just did a phenomenal job, a remarkable job recreating um, the arm. It basically looks like you chopped the arm <laughs> right off here and um, you know, decided to display it. Look at the battle damage, look at the deep cuts across, look at the hand-punched hair that's in there, look at the veins, the glistening sweat over um, the, the skin, and then of course uh, the detail, the cuts of the actual hand itself. Uh, the little tiny hairs on the knuckles even, the thumb, the details of all of that, it's actually, to tell you the truth, a little bit creepy um, to see this. Luckily, with what I do for a living, I don't get bothered by this type of stuff very much, but it is pretty amazing to look at all of that detail. It, it really looks like somebody's arm and hand. Uh, it specifically looks like Hugh Jackman's arm and, uh, and hand. Uh, Take a look here at the, the bullet. There's a bullet hole right over here. And there's another one over here that's pretty awesome. Uh, it's at an angle, like you know, his flesh is about to push it out. So I'm just gonna back up a little bit so we continue to kind of see this thing rotate and appreciate how beautiful it is. Um, and of course, you have the actual uh, metal claws sticking out. Uh, very thick, hopefully you can see that. Um, going all to the tip. I asked whether uh, the tip was sharp or not and uh, the representative from Queen Studios was like, are you crazy? We made that thing sharp. There's no way we could sell this to anybody outside of, uh, you know, outside of Asia. The customers would never even take it. Uh, but even though it's a little bit blunted, let me tell you something, uh, it's still, I mean, it's still enough to be able to do some damage <laughs> if uh, you push with any sort of force against your skin. It's pretty pointed. Uh, not razor sharp, but there's a, there's a bit of a point to it. 
So very, very nice. And you can see kind of the, the uh, bloody wounds where these uh, claws come out of. Uh, a little bit of a nitpick, perhaps, but you know, it, it's not perfectly lined up. I think the, the middle one is a little bit off just a little bit. I'm not sure whether that's by design. Maybe that's just the way, you know, Wolverine's claws come out. But it's not like perfectly aligned uh, across. And you can see that while, uh, when he's rotating, okay? But these are small nitpicks, you know. Uh, the blade is also not quite as perfectly shiny. It's a little dirty. Uh, I kind of wiped it off a little bit and, and cleaned it. Um, but, you know, I try to polish it. You can see with my, uh, the video here, you can see a little bit of smudge marks here or there. It's you know, hard to get all those things off. Uh, but again, you know, if you want to go for realism, uh, you can hardly ex expect the metal that's been popped constantly uh, to be perfect, even if it's supposed to be adamantium, right guys? And like, again, from this shot, you can see, boom, the two, the outer ones line up perfectly. I'm trying to keep my camera there, and the middle one just grazed a little bit slightly there. Again, not bad enough when you, uh, you know, lean back a little bit to affect the uh, overall presentation at all. But those are just little things that you notice. Um, its price, by the way, is very reasonable. They give you a small discount if you already own the bust. And um, you know, it's, I think, about $600, give or take, which when you consider the material and the amount of the material, the platinum, the silicon, the vein work, all that battle damage, you know, yeah. You know, this goes for about a modern premium format uh, statue. And uh, in my opinion, uh, you know, it's well worth it. Um, the only problem is that these guys are based in Asia, which means that you have to pay the shipping to ship this thing uh, all the way from uh, Asia here, and you know, that will run you a little bit extra. Um, I haven't really think about whether it was truly worth it or not, but if you have the Logan bust, um, this thing just complements it so well, um, you know, you really have to get it. So again, kind of going in real deep. You know, it's kind of interesting, but um, there was a study done a while back which said that uh, most people actually get nauseous watching a hand uh, being damaged or sliced open or cut into or operated on. There's just kind of something about watching a hand uh, being injured that really gets people. So, um, I mean, again, you know, in my line of work, uh, I'm beyond that, but I just wonder if that is true for some of you kind of looking close up at this uh, uh, prop replica of the claws and the hand, whether that does bother you seeing this, uh, this fist and seeing this sort of uh, perfectly uh, replicated forearm. <laughs> and then of course with the cuts in the forearm. But this is just really a remarkable collectible. I and mean, you can literally see the veins here popping out and uh, the damage here is just so severe. The gash is so deep. The bullet wounds, it just looks remarkable. I don't know, with the hair all integrated, it's crazy. Uh, so after this is done, um, I'm going to stitch uh, a little bit of a video just sort of showing what this thing looks like next to Hugh Jackman's one of them bust. Uh, I think it'll be a pretty remarkable, remarkable shot there. Uh, but I'll do that at the end. Uh, I'm gonna move to flash right now just to see what this thing looks like with a little bit of light. Here it goes. Okay, so this is with flash on. Let's take a look. Just go up and down. I just kind of see the hair. Here he is again. The clenched fist. Here's the metal. So hopefully you can appreciate the claws right there. It's very shiny. Look at the detail that popping out of the between the knuckles, the blood there. Look at that. Here again, the knuckles. Put that bullet hole right there, the bullet coming out. One of the, the cuts of the arm. 
backing up a little bit. So hopefully I can really appreciate how beautiful this thing looks. Here's the bullet here. There's the three slash marks. Again, backing up so you can see the entire thing. It's pretty amazing. I mean, you can actually smell a little bit of the silicon still. That's sort of how fresh it was made and how it came out of the box. I got number 31. Um, one or two other collectors have already gotten theirs. I know there's another one in the US who've got theirs. I think there's one in Hong Kong who got theirs. But um, from what I was told, they didn't make a lot of these. Again, uh, not many people wanted a life-size replica of the arm like this. And most of them are people who already own the life-size bust. So this is a very, very uh, rare you know, collectible for obvious reasons. All right, so um, what's next is I'm going to put this together with... Uh, the life-size bust, and we'll see them together and see what effect that brings. I think it's gonna be pretty remarkable. Just sort of letting the turntable go, kind of just slowly see it in all its glory. All right, thanks for taking a look, and until next time, Take care. I'm going to splice a few seconds of this arm next to Hugh Jackman's bust. All right, guys. So this is what the total package looks like from Queen Studios. This is the one-on-one life-size Logan bust paired with the one-on-one life-size uh, right hand with the claws extended. So it's uh, quite a view. Uh, quite a pair and depending again on the angle. I mean it really looks like You know from this angle if I shoot it like this It looks like you know, he's kind of Raising his hand with the claws extended pretty cool um, I can also kind of go from this angle here a little bit But obviously um, if you back up you can tell that you know, they're uh, they're both on pedestals um, But the overall effect is still pretty amazing both platinum silicon we're gonna rotate the arm a little bit here. So you can do all sorts of neat little poses with it. And you can move it all the way like that. So he looks like he's showing you his claws this way. Uh, that's pretty pretty cool. Again, you can see sort of the, the battle damage all sides. So again, um, now that arm is mostly going to people who already own the bust. It's a pretty remarkable combination. Um, hopefully you can appreciate that from a few um, minutes of just posing but yeah you just even do this you just move a little bit closer and all of a sudden you have the illusion that it's uh, you know Logan with the claws uh, out you know ready to rock and roll so uh, pretty awesome in combination it's uh, one of I mean you know Queen Studios made a hell of a statement this is their first piece essentially um, and you know this is quite the coming out party. You know this uh, this company is for real. They do amazing work, and I'm very very you know happy uh, to get this uh, the ultimate Wolverine collectible. If you're a, if you're a fan, here it goes. Very very nice. Hope you enjoyed that. Until next time, guys, take care.